All right, guys, so today's the big day, the uh, top end rebuild of the blaster. So right now, pretty much got everything taken off. I'm just prepping. I'll go through my prep work for you guys to show you. But I just got rags kind of covering up the base uh, of the engine and the crank rod. Um, and everything's just kind of sitting here waiting. I clean, make sure you guys clean the gasket surface right there. This one's actually very clean. I just, you, you can use like a razor blade, um, some brake clean, stuff like that. Get it nice and clean. You want that base gasket to seal. You can even get some uh, paste. It's like Easy Bond or something. I don't actually, I'm not going to put it on, but I would recommend if you guys want to do like a complete professional job, put that stuff on there before you put the base gasket in. That's going to be pretty mint. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to show you some prep work. The new cylinder. New cylinder and piston right here. Um, I ordered new head studs. You probably should get head studs if you guys are going to do a top end rebuild. I got head studs and exhaust studs. Plus you get all new nuts um, and hardware and stuff like that. So basically it's... So the you don't have you have new head studs so not all stretched out from the last the last uh, top end. And then you have your piston right here, guys. So I'm gonna go over quickly how you put the rings on. What you want to do is let me see if I can rotate it. There's a little little marking right there and right there, little pins. So each ring kind of the opening kind of sits on the pins and then that's how you do it. All right, so now we're just gonna get the uh, wrist pin, wrist pin bearing, piston. Um, all lubed up with a little bit of two-stroke oil. Don't be fooled guys. I actually filled this with two-stroke oil. It's not four-stroke oil. Don't worry. I put good Yamma lube uh, two-stroke Because I always like to take care of my engines I'm gonna take these rags off real quick so you guys can see Basically the wrist pin is just gonna go in there the bearing and then you're gonna I always put one clip in the side right away and you always want to have the opening either facing straight up or straight down. You never want to have it side to side because that's when it's going to fail. So as long as you have the opening straight up or straight down, um, it's going to work out just fine. So I always put one in and you can just put the uh, wrist pin in from the other side, put the clip in and then you're good to go. Make sure you guys uh, lube up all the components with two-stroke oil. You can use ATF if you want. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that and I'll show you guys the uh, finished, finished product when we're done. Alright guys, so we got the uh, piston, wrist pin bearing, wrist pin sir clips all installed with the rings we're just going to line the rings and then we can put the cylinder on making sure everything's clean um, like i said opening is straight up or straight down on the sir clips make sure you guys use a nice coat of uh, two stroke oil or atf on all the components um, so that it's lubricated when it first starts up but yeah we're going to move on to the cylinder get the base gasket uh, put on and then we're going to put the cylinder on